Here's an announcement. A prestigious upskill program has now come up with UPSC Confidence Covenant module. This includes 100 days plan for 1000 marks mains, 300 hours intensive lectures, 10,000 plus MCQs via previous year questions, 1000 plus mains, question and answers. And for our old students, there's 50% concession and courses available in online and offline mode. It is starting from 1st November. Do attend the workshop at 10 a.m. In the first floor, Old Rajendra Nagar, near Agarwal Suites, above Mutut Finance, New Delhi. Let us look into the first article for the day. Bhutan and China make progress in border talks. They hold the 25th round of discussions, which has been held up since the previous round in 2016, showing signs of progress in relations. Beijing pushes for diplomatic ties with Thimpo. We'll look into the MCQ related to this topic. Sakting Wildlife Sanctuary is a disputed place between which of the following countries? It is Bhutan and China. We'll just see the background of this issue. Actually, the formal ties between China and Bhutan are absent. However, they've held 24 rounds of boundary talks between 1984 and 2016. 24 talks. And this is the 25th time they are sitting and discussing about boundary. All right. And the talks were concentrated on northern and western regions of Bhutan. And eastern part of Bhutan were not was not a part of um, these talks. Okay. Now, where is this Sakteng Wildlife Sanctuary located? It is located close to the border of Arunachal Pradesh. Okay. And in June 2020, this China attempted to stop the UNDP, Global Environment Facility, funding for this particular sanctuary. But uh, it was overruled. This is the background of this issue. All right. So, name and place is important. Next. Previous year question relating to this theme. Which one of the following statements best reflects the issue? which Senkaku Islands sometimes mentioned in news. It is generally believed that they are artificial islands made by a country around the South China Sea. No, it's not South China Sea. China and Japan engage in maritime disputes over these islands in East China Sea. Yes, this is the correct answer. So please be very, very vigilant whether it is South or East China Sea. All right. Yeah. Next article. Mitigating tragedies in the Himalayan region. Institutional awareness of risks is increasing, but the challenge is to evolve a system to mitigate such risks and provide early warning. What does this article say? It says about the recent glacial lake outburst flood in Sikkim. This one. And here are a few important points that you have to remember for prelims. All right. The enormity of the challenges seen in the National Remote Sensing Centers has witnessed glacial lake at least GLOF events in the past. The three few major decades. river basins this of is the very Indus, Ganga, and Brahmaputra are host okay. to 28,000 glacial lakes. Then, greater than the have in provided in high resolution data via remote of sensing. Of these, 27% are in India, the six change. states, and union territories. This, is this region is also important. I mean, which of the following statements are true about NSRC? That can be a potential question. All right. So the stats and the full form, these are few important things. Let us look into the MCQ related to this article. Consider the following pairs, glacier and state and UT. Parkachi glacier is in Ladakh. Yes. Chota Shigri is in Himachal Pradesh. Yes. Zingzing Bar is in Uttarakhand. No, it is not in Uttarakhand. It is in Himachal Pradesh. Kang Gyatse, it's not in Sikkim, it's in Ladakh. So, only two are correct. Along with uh, states and UTs, you also learn about the glacier uh, and river interrelation. Okay. So, but, uh, Parkachi Glacier feeds the river Suru. Okay. Chota Shigri feeds Chandra River. Remember these, okay? And uh, UPSC previous year question related to this theme, glacier and river. Uh, Bandar Poonch and river Yamuna, yes. Because Bandar Poonch actually feeds 
Hanuman Ganga River which joins Yamuna. Okay, so it is related to River Yamuna. Next, Barashigri. Barashigri is also related to Chinab. And one more point about Barashigri is it is the second longest glacier, second longest glacier in Himalayas after Gangotri. So second, this is also correct. Milam. Milam and Mandakini, no, because Milam is the source of Gori Ganga River. Milam is the source of Gori Ganga River and um, Mandak not Mandakini. Siachen and Nubra, yes, this is true. Zemo and Manas, no, Manas is a transboundary river and Zemo is related to river Tista. Okay, so three statements are correct, one, two and four. If you know first one is correct, then C and D are gone. If you know second one is correct, then you don't need to read other statements. 1, 2, 4 are correct. Yeah. Next article. Understanding the components of a SIM card, its functions and working. Over the years, the SIM card has shrunk from the SIM to mini SIM to micro SIM and nano SIM. The latest on this path is the eSIM with specifications uh, defined by the Global System for Mobile Communications, GSM Association. And there are few important points that are really um, helpful, that will be really helpful for prelims. Okay. Now, what is SIM? SIM is Subscriber Identification Module. All right. And what is GSM standard? GSM standard, Global System for Mobile. Okay, and there are few points in this last paragraph. Okay, what is eSIM? Electronic SIM. What is electronic SIM? So, eSIM is a form of SIM card that is embedded directly into the device. Okay, over the years, the SIM card has shrunk from the SIM to the mini SIM to the micro SIM and to the nano SIM. The latest on this path is the eSIM with specifications defined by the GSM Association. In the eSIM paradigm, the SIM software is loaded onto UICC. Now, what is UICC? UICC is Universal Integrated Circuit Card. Okay. That is permanently installed in the mobile equipment in the factory itself. That it cannot be removed. This is called the EUICC. UICC means Universal Integrated circuit card okay next google pixels 2 3 4 or the iphone 14 series do not have to bother with physically replacing their sim cards when they join or switch networks because they are using eSIMs. okay the network operator simply has to reprogram the eSIM. now who is a network operator for example Bharati Airtel, Reliance Geo, they, these are network operators, all right, which can also be done remotely. And eSIM has two immediate advantages. This is important for prelims and mains also. And eSIM has two immediate advantages. So, this is important for prelims and mains. Which of the following is or advantages of eSIMs can be a potential question in prelims. So, pay attention. First, it is considered to be environmentally friendlier than a physical SIM because its reprogrammability means no need for more plastic and metal for a new SIM card. So, this is the first advantage. Now, what is the second advantage? If a malicious person gains access to your phone, they won't be able to separately access the SIM application nor be able to duplicate it. No. Now, second advantage is this one. And what are the disadvantages? In some countries, including the US, eSIMs can be programmed by subscribers themselves. But this process might be difficult for those with low digital literacy, such as the elderly. Okay, so this is one disadvantage. And second one is, an eSIM can in theory allow network operators to track subscribers' data. This is an issue. Including inside apps on the device, especially in the absence of data privacy laws. So, these two are the disadvantages. All these two are the advantages. Now, let us look into the MCQ related to this one. Consider the following statements with regard to eSIM. It is reprogrammable by the network operator. 
yes it is considered to be environmentally friendly yes unlike the in the case of traditional physical sim card network operators cannot track subscribers data in eSIM no this is wrong because we have just seen that this is one of the dis disadvantages right so one and two are uh, correct and uh, this third statement is wrong how many of the following statements given above is are incorrect please be very very careful with these tag words okay so how many are incorrect only third statement is incorrect so one previous year question related to this theme consider the following statements a digital signature is an electronic record that identifies the certifying authority issuing it yes repeat now let us look into the previous year question related to this theme consider the following statements a digital signature is an electronic record that identifies the certifying authority showing it no no it is used to serve as a proof of identity of an individual to access information or server or internet no so one is wrong two is wrong one two so c three only is correct an electronic method of signing an electric document electronic document and ensuring that the original content is unchanged this is the right answer now we'll look into the next article center to introduce dna face matching systems at police stations across country it will be implemented under under the criminal procedure identification act remember this act they'll directly pick a uh, statement from this headline and it will be implemented under which of the following laws can be a question okay which was passed la last year the law enables police and central investigate investigating agencies to collect store and analyze physical and biological samples including retina and iris scan of arrested persons okay so this is the news and there are few important points in the articles the law was passed uh, by parliament in april 2022 and the rules were notified in september last year all right next though the act and rules do not explicitly mention the collection of dna samples and face matching procedure the ncrb in meetings with the state police officials informed that the set measures would be rolled out in around 1300 locations spread across police districts commissionerates so they might just ask you um will the is the act explicitly mentioning the collection of dna samples and face matching no the answer is no we'll look into the mcq related to this theme consider the following statements dna profiling can be a tool to determine an individual's age no to distinguish and identify individuals based on their unique dna characteristics yes so b is correct statement all right now we'll look into the previous year question related to this theme consider the following statements dna barcode dna barcoding can be a tool too now what is dna barcoding it is a method of specimen identification all right yeah as is the age of a plant or animal no when one is gone a and c are gone three is common in these two options so, so do not read three just read two distinguish among species that look alike yes so d is right uh, right answer just observe the options two just in case if you can um minimize your reading at least you will save 2 to 3 seconds right which you can use it for the other questions yeah dna profiling is primarily used to distinguish and identify individuals based on their unique dna characteristics it is not used to determine an individual's age but can be used to identify the presence of drugs or toxins in the body when those substances are present in the dna sample next article sc uses rare power to help a man fighting for postal job for 28 years and what is that rare power it is article rare power under article 142 okay 
consider the following statements with regard to article 142 the supreme court in its jurisdiction can issue decrees and orders to ensure complete justice in any pending case yes any decree or, or order issued by the supreme court is enforceable throughout india yes in the absence of specific laws, the president can temporarily define the manner of enforcement. This is also true. It is in the absence of specific laws. Okay. But actually, the manner of enforcement will be determined, the, uh, determined by the laws created by parliament. And if parliament did not enact any law, then president will come into picture. Okay. So, all the three statements are right. Next. Under which article of the Indian Constitution did the President make a reference to the Supreme Court to seek the Court's opinion? This is the key statement. On the constitutional validity of Election Commission's decision on deferring the Gujarat Assembly elections in the year 2002. The rest is not important. What is important is President making a reference to Supreme Court to seek the Court's opinion. Okay, this is the... Uh, thing which you have to concentrate on. So, it is advisory jurisdiction. So, it will come under advisory jurisdiction. Huh? So, it is under article 143. So, what is 143? It is a consultation mechanism which empowers the Supreme Court with advisory jurisdiction and the President can ask the advice from the Supreme Court. Okay, and advice given by Supreme Court is not binding on President. And it, the advice given by Supreme Court is not binding on President. Alright. Now, what is on Article 142? 142 is this one. It can issue decrees and orders to ensure complete justice in any pending case. Uh, Supreme Court can do this. That is Article 142. Now, what is Article 144? Advising the civil and judicial authority to act in aid of Supreme Court. Alright, and Article 145 talks about how Supreme Court can make rules and laws regarding persons appointed to Supreme Court. Alright, yeah. Now, next article. A sprawling temporary lake at Badwater Basin Salt Flats causing by flooding in August from Tropical Storm Hillary at the recently reopened Death Valley National Park in California. Okay. The storm delivered a year's worth of rain to the valley, which is the hottest place on earth in a single day. Badwater Basin itself is located 282 feet below the sea level. Now we'll look into the MCQ related to this topic. This place straddles eastern California and Nevada. It is known for Titus Canyon with a ghost town and colorful rocks and Badwater Basin salt flats. It is below sea level basin and records steady drought and record summer heat. Above description refers to which of the following places. It is Death Valley National Park. Previous year question related to this theme. The Death Valley in Southern California, USA is an example of a rift valley. We will look into the next article. A rare form of lightning. What is ball lightning? This can be a direct question. One of the most rare and mysterious forms of lightning is ball lightning. It is a ball of luminosity that occurs near the impact point of a flash and moves horizontally at a speed of a few centimeters per second. It can penetrate closed windows. This is important. It usually is accompanied by a hissing sound and has a lifetime of several seconds. The color is quite variable and the ball often ends with an explosion. However, it is not usually destructive. This is also very important because generally we think that any explosion uh, would be destructive. But in this case, it's not so. So, pay attention. It is also called as globe lightning. It occurs at times of intense electrical activity in the atmosphere. These balls are said to be plasmas. Now, what is a plasma? This is also important. They Here, they have given the definition. Plasma is a completely ionized state of matter at high temperature in which positive and negative ions freely move about. Okay. However, no theory has so far satisfactorily explained the behavior of a ball as scientists have not been able to reproduce it in the laboratory. 
a ball of lightning as a comparatively rare sight. So next time you see it, take a picture. That's what they're saying. We'll look into the MCQ. Consider the following statements with regard to the phenomenon of natural lightning in atmosphere. It is a giant spark of electricity in the atmosphere between clouds, the air or the ground. Yes, it can be seen in volcanic eruptions, extremely intense forest fires, surface nuclear uh, detonations uh, and heavy snowstorms. Yes, both are correct. During a thunderstorm, the thunder in the skies is produced by meeting of cumulonimbus clouds in the sky, lightning that separates the nimbus clouds, Violent upward movement of air and water particles. Select the correct answer using the given uh, codes. No, none of them produce thunder. Yeah. So D is the correct answer. Next article. Union Home Minister and Minister for uh, Cooperation, Sri Amit Shah, inaugurated IFFCO's Nano DAP liquid plant at Kalol in Gandhinagar, Gujarat today. Now, what is DAP? DAP is diammonium, diammonium phosphate, phosphate, okay. Yeah, we'll look into the MCQ related to this. Consider the following statements with regard to nano DAP. It will not affect the nutrients in the soil. It will have zero harmful metal particles. Both are correct. These are the unique um, traits of nano DAP. Remember, Usually, whenever we talk about fertilizers or say chemicals to treat plants, we, we think that these statements are correct. But nano DAP, these are the unique traits. Okay. Which of the following statements given above is are incorrect? Incorrect. So, none of them is incorrect because both are correct, right? Uh, previous year question. Why does the government of India promote the use of neem coated urea in agriculture? Release of neem oil in the soil increases nitrogen fixation by soil microorganisms? No. Neem coating slows down the rate of dissolution of urea in the soil? Yes. This is the actual aim. So, B is the correct answer. Next article Could chill hot US economy? MCQ related to this. What does the bond yield? represent in the context of fixed income securities okay what is bond yield the annual interest payment on the bond no the current market price of the bond no the total return expected from the bond including both interest and capital gains or losses yes this is bond yield interest plus gains or losses that is bond yield only interest only gains no that is not uh, bond yield Okay, so remember this. Indian government bond yields are influenced by which of the following? Actions by United States Federal Reserve? Yes. Actions of Reserve Bank of India? Yes. One and two are correct. And inflation and short term interest rates? Yes, because you know, if you're pumping more money and inflation is uh, high, then, then all things would change, right? So, D is the right answer next article whole genome sequencing is important for tb fight now what is genome sequencing first we we'll, first we'll see what is a genome then we'll see what is genome sequencing a genome is an an organism's complete set of genetic instructions that is genome now what is genome sequencing Genome sequencing is a laboratory procedure that determines the order of basis in the genome of an organism. Okay, so if you are sequencing the entire genome of an organism, it is called genome sequencing. Now we'll see the question related to this topic. Consider the following statements with regard to tuberculosis. It is a disease caused by bacteria. Yes, it is drug resistant TB is spread the same way that drug susceptible TB is spread. Yes, multi-drug resistant TB is caused by TB bacteria that are resistant to at least isoniazid and rifampin, the two most potent TB drugs. Yes, how many statements given above is or incorrect? All are correct, so none of them is incorrect. 
Previous year question, which one of the following antimicrobial drugs is suitable for treatment of both tuberculosis and leprosy? We have just seen this drug, rifampicin. So, D is correct. This is it for today. All the very best.